Well, hello there and welcome. My name is Draren and today I will be casting a StarCraft 2 match between the Blue Protoss Lacey and the Teal Protoss Macho Salad. Uh, as you can see they are spawning cross positions on the map Antigua Shipyard and hopefully because of cross positions we'll have a long fine macro game. Um, I don't really know much what to talk about these players other than that they are both around platinum level so their play won't exactly be master or grandmaster uh, and therefore I don't really have uh, much to say about them. Um, you can see they are both dropping down their pylons at around 9, Machusad is dropping his a little before Lacey, maybe forgot or something, I don't know, stuff happens. They are both playing as random and they are both scouting after their pylon. You can see here Lacey appears to be scouting cross positions instantly while Macho Salad prefer, or well, not prefer, but he has queued up a move to every spawn point. So, yeah. And there appears that Lacey misclicked his probes, which is not very good, but it appears he's about to drop down a gateway now on 12. Uh, Macho Salad doing the same, dropping down on 13. I guess the Lacey missed the probe because um, he f came late with his pylon. You can see no player has yet to take a gas, but that's just because I'm stupid and that's not normal gas timing, but yeah. Matches are just dropping it down on the normal gas timing. I was just a, bit, a little bit early there, and um, uh, Lacey is uh, two supply behind. I think that that is because of uh, accidentally pulling behind the probes, and then yeah, of course, putting down the pylon late. Their gateways are pretty similar timings, so I think uh, their warp gate should be around the same as well. If we're looking, uh, you can see Magister has already have one assimilator up, but no harvest is in it. I hope he will put in soon, or else he is gonna get a little behind on the gas. As you can see, he's putting down the cyber. Uh, so is Lacey, just a couple seconds early, or early ahead. And yeah, he's having harvesters in his gas. It is that Macho is only leading by 8 gas even though he put his assimilator down a lot earlier. Lacey is putting down a pylon here. It's good uh, to check and block maybe if Macho Sada would try to proxy him, which he didn't. But uh, I think also if he proxied there it would be a little too late to check. And I'm not even sure if a gateway fits there. And apparently Macho this probe just ran to the rally point and now it's being abandoned. As you can see, now Lacey has taken two gases, so has Macho Salad, and he, yeah, I think he just put probes, since they queued from my room. And uh, as you can see in the production, Macho Salad is producing one stalker and he's already out of Salad. You can see Lacey is producing another gateway, okay, timing is pretty similar, you can see Macho Salad is corner boosting. He is, you can, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Lacey is still continuing to make probes, it looks like. Machetel has quit making probes at 26, but that is of course with um, a stalker and a cellar and you, yeah, that's 4 supply, so it's got 22 probes. Um, yeah, other than that, you see, see if he will chrono the warp gate here, I think he should, because they are both pretty equal on the warp gate, Se second gateway is down, and now we have Machetel putting down 3 more gateways. So it looks like he's going for a 4 gate. Uh, yeah, can't see that uh, Lacey is doing any special tech patterns yet. It's just two warp gates, or to be warp gates, doing sentries. And now it appears he's dropping down a forge. So I don't think he's going to go for any early aggression and sends out a sacrificial probe. Must have seen see what he saw. He saw the forge, he saw one gateway, the cyber core. He did not see that assimilator, he's not seen that one either, but yeah, I don't I don't think he's stupid. He's pretty sure. And he's got a um, pile on here. Maybe he's going to do some early aggressions. But with only two warp gates, I'm not sure. As you can see he's only got four units. As well you can see yeah he's putting down a robotics facility. I just had warping down some stalkers so he's Five stalkers, one sentry, and one salad, and it chrono boosts the plus one weapon upgrade. 
Yeah, it looks like he's going for an attack and he's got no proximity pylon even though he could have used this probe to do so. But his reinforcements are going to be very slow. So I think that Lasty will have an advantage. And the PS, uh, well, I would guess that he's going to put down an expansion here soon. You can see he's got a fort of his own almost ready. And Machus Alas Mishraelis' stalkers getting one cut off. Getting all his stalkers picked apart. I don't know how much this is lost here, but I don't think it's much. He's definitely going to lose the Zealot. Okay, he's not chasing with the Ubers, but... Okay, he's not going to lose that Zealot. He just ran away. <laughs> well, if you check the units lost, you can see Matosal lost the most in that. He'd lost five, five stalkers, I think, because he only had one Zealot then. But he's not going to lose that proof because this is not going to chase it. And that was the abandoned probe. Oh. Well, yeah. Lacey has an advantage over the units lost and there and there appears. Much as I soon plus one while Lacey just started his wonder if he's going to chrono boost, we'll see that soon. Putting down his expansion. He's also got one immortal which will help him a lot against the uh, because he's very stalker heavy. You can see the abandoned probe is returning home. Lacey is chrono boosting out two observers. Maybe he's afraid of maybe I should start getting dark templars, something like that. One to scout and one not to also chrono in the plus one. You can see it looks like I should is also gearing up to take another expan or take an expansion. And yes, a bit down there. It's going to be a late expansion compared. Or well, it's only halfway done. And we can see here his saturation pretty good, so he'll have a lot to transfer over when his expansion's down. You can see Lacey's also got, you can see here the income tab. Quite quite similar minerals and yeah, they are quite equal on the probe count as well, even though Machata had stopped creating. Uh, you can see he's still creating, but it doesn't look like Lacey is, even though he's about to expand, the expansion is about to, there's the probe transfer. Yeah. So he's now uh, Manchester is also putting down the Proscon on level 1, as well as late Ooh, base is putting down the Twilight Council and two additional gateways. It's very nice. Oh, and Manchester is also putting down a Twilight Council here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah. He is, yeah, they are both probing, or well, at least Lace is. I see Machos is warping down another round of stalkers. You can see he's having a camp outside here. It's one at a spot. And yeah. Now it appears that his proximity pylon was taken down earlier. Get him his stats. Now, Lacey starting charge. Doesn't. Yeah, he's quite solid heavy, so that will be a nice benefit for him. He's almost done. Well, Machos is almost done with his plus uh, 1 plus 1. And then um, this is, yeah, well, I'll say one third. And um, actually, is getting blinked. So they're nice. Uh, stalker heavy versus salad heavy PvP. You see, he's rallying probes down. I don't think he did any transfer. Now he's putting up the assimilators. This is yet to put up assimilators. He's not producing out of the Robo Bay. He's just getting this charge chrono boosted no I mean I mean the plus one armor chrono boosted. You can see here, you can see much chrono boost going off. He's got twenty-five there, fifty yeah, that's three chrono boosts. Here as well three chrono boosts. And there's two chrono boosts. A lot of chrono boosts could be using on uh, warp gates or anything here right now. It appears that much as is supply blocked and throwing down two additional pylons. If Lacey would attack now, I think that was, would be quite good timing, as I'm not... Well, yeah. You see the army supply here, you see he's ahead on army, both yeah, spendings and supply. So I think that in, he had the window there. And he's also getting a Dark Shrine. Maybe he is going just for Dark Templars or for Archons. Now we're putting down this additional assimilators, he's definitely going to need that gas later for the Dark Templars. You can see, let's 
So you check the income. Yeah, Macho Salad. Um, he's leading the gas. I would say Lazy, and of course, as far as I can see, he's leading the minerals, but not by much. He's having less harvesters. It, no, okay. I thought he was going to move out, but no. See, Lazy is here camping here. We can see he has Macho Salad scout. No, he hasn't scouted anything since the early beginning, and now he just moves out the weak salad to see what's happening. You can see it appears that Lace is going to go in. Well, that's a lot of force fields. And it appears that all the settlers are trapped. So they're just being sent in as cannon fodder. If you can see here, the units lost. They became more even, even though. Yeah, Lacey lost more, but that's settlers. Mostly. Settlers don't cost as much as stalkers do. So. Yeah. But uh, he will need to warp in those again. You can see here, let's check Lacey. Yeah, Lacey's seeing uh, all realization. He's seen everything except for a couple of pylons. Now he sees the robotic facility. He still hasn't seen the Dark Shrine, which is complete. Lacey hasn't yet to warp in any though. Maybe he's forgotten about it. Ground weapons level 2 soon to be finished. Only 50 seconds left on Lasers 1 though, so it's okay. If you wonder why I mouse over this little much, it's because I, I, they're both Protoss, similar colors, so I, I forget. From the I always see four Dark Templars, there's no detection from Marshall Sol. So he can't do anything about these Dark Templars yet. If Lasers just go running them into the mineral, he will be able to do so much damage. Uh, he's just pulling away the probes. He's not sent anyone into the main yet. But he's just standing here shopping away. See his Krona boosting out this observer right now. He's also getting this Templar Archives. Maybe he was gearing up to get Storm against the Zealots. And you see he's randomly blinking with the Stalkers. Or well, not randomly. He's trying to get away from the Dark Templars. Yeah, you can see that's the little... Dark Templars killing all your probes is never a fun situation. And there is the Observer, it wasn't rallied. Lazy has put down an expansion here, six additional gateways. These Dark Templars, they're just getting so many kills. You can see here, it's almost double the... Yeah, well, it is double the supply. I mean, resources. Uh, had lost like some. Uh, yeah. It's almost a double, at least now, since he's losing his Dark Templars. But if we check now with this, you see he's killed 13 workers, 36 units. And he's only lost one worker, now I'm missing an engagement attack here. You see, yeah, no force fits the Stalos Kings from ramping into the Stalkers. The sentry are guarding up, so taking less damage. The Immortals are just shooting away with the plus two, they do so much damage, you see. 60 damage against a stalker. That's a lot, as you can see here. There's a, a stalker. Yeah. And Marshall Sala is left here. No GG. Bad man. I, I guess that was all for me. It was my first stalker of two cast commentary. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, subscribe, anything. Tell me when if you liked it or not. Yeah. Bye.